Hi Aquarius, welcome to your September 2019 general tarot reading. It's Raina here. I was singing that song Aquarius <laughs> right before pressing the record button. But um, I'm going to be doing a um, general tarot spread and then I'm going to pick a card from the Earth Magic Tarot deck by Doreen Virtue's ex-husband, Stephen Farmer. I hope I'm right about that. Oh boy. <laughs> okay. The heart of the matter is the six of Wands. This is a card of taking your victory lap, feeling like you've accomplished something. Um, this could be career recognition specifically. And uh, we do have supportive cards here. I'm just going to talk about these. In the past position, we have the Ace of Swords. So um, for those of you who have perhaps had a bit of confusion in maybe your um, life purpose, your life path. Something may have um, come clear to you and uh, you, it's funny because you do have, um, in August there is that full moon in Aquarius and perhaps that was part of the catalyst of like, you know, really getting clear on what it is that you want to pursue and so victory if it, it hasn't arrived yet it's at hand and you're or, or if you're still kind of feeling like you're on that path that you are headed in the right direction but I, I think that also with the six of wands if we look at it from another perspective is that this is what you are craving more than anything, which is the sense of getting a pat on the back. And it's not, you know, to stroke your ego. It's simply to know that somebody appreciates the job you're doing. So maybe you were working at a place where you didn't have that. And so the Ace of Swords could be like helping you to understand that this was part of the dynamic and that it wasn't going to change, that you were not going to be able to get them to see how great you are. Um, unfortunately, that's something that a trap that people fall into because they just assume that if they can just prove themselves enough that it's going to work. And while that would work with a reasonable person, you're not necessarily de dealing with a reasonable person or people that you're working for. And it's important to know that. It's important to know who you're dealing with when you're dealing with somebody in life. I think that Aquarius definitely has the intuitive ability to kind of, you know, suss that out. But the, the problem with Aquarius, with you guys, is that you're very tolerant of all kinds of behavior and you kind of make allowances for things. And that can lead you to not really um, look at something uh, in a, a discerning sort of way and say, no, 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 I, I can't be in this situation any longer. The higher message is the... Eight of Pentacles, which is about perfecting your craft. And it's possible that you were working hard. This card can also be like working really hard and also even financial um, success. And th this can be a card of wealth too, because number eight, you know, Pentacles is money and eight is a worldly power. But the thing is that in this particular circumstance, you may have been trying to make something work that wasn't right for you. And so it never quite gelled. You know, it's just like relationships. 
trying to make something work that really it's you know, it's not really happening and and taking the responsibility like it's all your fault that you have to do this and so perhaps for some of you this is related to uh, to personal matters of the heart you know where you want that sort of person in your life who really sees you as a good person they see your attributes and they're not willing they're not um afraid to say that you are this or you are that and 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 compliment you and appreciate you and you've come to that realization but perhaps um, what you need to know also is that you can't take responsibility for everything and you can't try too hard. I think fixed signs, maybe that's what it is because you're a fixed sign, you fixate on an idea, on a thing that you want to accomplish and it's like it becomes an obsession. And um, there has to be the flexibility of thought to entertain the notion that something isn't working and to be okay with that and to say, you know, um, I admit that this isn't going to happen and I can move on with my life. And I can just, you know, um, look for validation from a different source. I mean, ultimately, we're not supposed to look outside of ourselves for validation. What I mean is, is that that feeling of being appreciated is not really um, an outrageous thing to expect from from the place that you're working or from a relationship what crosses you is the full card and so you may be like kind of like not ready to embark on a new journey you may be going through a process right now Aquarius where you're kind of coming to terms with certain things in your life but you still are kind of like um deciding on the path altogether. With the Eight of Pentacles, it may be suggesting that you go into a certain type of training so that you can specialize in something and also so that you can have certain credentials so that you will have more job opportunity if you are seeking new employment. What's coming in is represented by the Queen of Wands. This is the card of the self-empowered businesswoman, um, you know, somebody who, or a career woman, um, someone who is confident and positive and, in, in, you know, cheerful in nature. Um, again, you know, I'm drawing on, I'm getting that fire energy just like the Six of Wands. And um, one of the aspects of fire is enthusiasm. So um, <laughs> I always say um, that, that uh, <laughs> I don't know if I should say this, but I, I think that some people might get a kick out of it. Some people might not. Um, I guess I'll find out how many thumbs down I get. But, you know, like with an air sign like Aquarius, and especially with Aquarius, because I think you're the most detached out of all the air signs, as a sign, not as individuals, but, um, you know, sometimes that, that kind of air sign, the way that people um, kind of express themselves, reminds me of NPR, if you ever listen to National Public Radio, where they're, they talk so above it all. I think I've said this before. Uh, maybe even to your sign, uh, and they have no emotion because emotions are so uncool and they're so like base. Um, and so I think a lot of times air signs would rather stay above the fray of whatever emotions represent, but this is full on uh, emotion because the queen represents the water element because it's a feminine principle and that uh, and the uh, wands are fire. Well, water and fire as elements are both emotional in their own ways. And you're in, like unabashedly this way. And this, you know, I feel like this might even be more the case as we go towards the end of September and we start having these uh, personal planets in uh, Libra because Libra is a fellow 
air sign and that will form a trine and that will be more easy flowing energy for you. Here's another um, queen. The outcome is the queen of swords. Now this is you. Great. All's well that ends well. So you're in that position. To me, the queen and the king are positions of authority. So you're on top of your game. Um, even the six of wands, I think, might connect with Leo, which I consider royalty energy. But the the idea of um, you know being you know self mastery and and self empowerment of the these. Um, court cards, these top court cards, and but the feminine principle combined with the masculine intellect of the of the swords, to me is the greatest marriage between the head and heart. And being able to like pursue something in life that you really love, but you also know is really good for you. Because again, I go back to the eight of pentacles. Um it's hard to do a really good job when you're not, when your heart isn't in it. And I feel like your heart is in this, that you, that you have this sense of purpose. Um, you know, the timeline, is it going to be in September? Who knows? But I feel like you're on the right track at any, in any case. So that's good. So I'm going to pick a card from the um, Earth Magic deck just to round off this reading. Oh no, I get this over and over again. Ah. Now I'm starting to really wonder if there's something that's going to happen in the in our lives as a whole that's going to cause this tsunami effect. I mean, oh, I didn't even think about it like a literal tsunami because it's supposed to be obviously um, symbolic. Um, oh my gosh. <laughs> Somebody somebody wrote to me about, I guess that they were a card reader too, and they were saying that sometimes they get this stuck energy or something where they keep drawing the same cards. I would like to say synchronicity um, rather than assume that it's something that is not meant to be because I really think it must be meant to be. Well, here I go again reading this. You're getting a wake-up call. It may be in the form of a significant loss or other dramatic event in your life typically one that you were not prepared for initially and that could possibly be why the full card is in the challenge position oh and by the way full moon in aquarius anyone happening in august so actually i'm recording this the day before that so there you go you may feel stunned at first surprised by the unexpected events that are occurring Yet you also know that it is time to draw back the curtain of avoidance and denial and confront the truth that exists in the subtext of this event. You are experiencing a real-life drama, so there is no need to amplify it more than it already is. Often when you look back after something like this has passed, you can recall signs that foreshadowed it happening. There may have been obvious clues that you ignored or omens that were so subtle they were easy to dismiss as imaginings of the mind rather than the voice of your instinct. Instinct. There are many anecdotes about animals operating purely on instinct, picking up on clues and naturally seeking higher ground before an approaching tsunami reaches the land. To negotiate this wake-up call, listen closely to your instincts while at the same time seeking the higher ground of spiritual truth. There you go, and um, I hope you enjoyed this, Aquarius, and if you'd like a personal reading, the link is below. Have a great month. Bye.